and today we are going to be making this awesome flower crown that was requested by Chris on Instagram. Hey girl! So let's go ahead and jump in. These are the flowers that I used in case you wanted to know. They all came from the dollar store. I used five different types of flowers and I did use every single last one of them for this tutorial. The only other thing you'll need is a pair of pliers that have a wire cutter on them and if you have a tool set you probably already have this at home. So you want to begin by getting long stems of any flower you want. Um, basically I got two of these extremely long stems and intertwined them together by twisting them around each other to make the headband. What I would suggest is to make the headband a little bit bigger than your head since you're going to be adding and especially if you use all of the flowers, um, it'll just make it a lot easier. Once you get the stems wrapped around each other, you may need to use your pliers just to push the um, little wiring that is sticking out so that it doesn't poke you in the head. And actually it won't poke you in the head because you're going to be wrapping the other flowers around it. So go ahead and grab your wire cutters and your stems of flowers and detach them from the stem. Now I did keep the greenery like the leaves on the flowers to add more character to my crown. So there are a couple of different ways that you can attach the flowers to your crown. You can either just twist it on around the crown, that's one option. Another option, which isn't shown, and I'm sorry I didn't show that, but another option is to take two of the flowers and twist them together and then twist them around the crown. Another option, and the third and final option that I found, was to take the stem flower and twist it around itself if that makes any sense. I'll show you here, right here in a moment. But if you just take that flower, push the bottom of the stem up, and then wrap it around itself, and then start twisting. That will definitely help you to keep the stems from poking you in your noggin. Then all you're gonna do is just wrap. And that's, that's it, that's all the materials you need. Um, if you absolutely want to cover like the inside of the band, you can definitely use hot glue um, and ribbon to cover up any parts that poke you or if you think it's going to poke you. But this is pretty much the whole tutorial. You can make your crown as thick or as thin as you want. I decided to go big or go home simply because why not? I might as well use them all. Um, I may actually take this apart and do different types of headbands, um, but I did just want to give you a general idea of what I did for this one. So this is pretty much the whole tutorial. If there is anything that you guys want to see, let me know below and I, or if you know if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, you can definitely contact me on any one of those social media outlets. Um, definitely let me know what you want to see and I will get on that. So I believe that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe before you go. And in between every video, you can definitely check out SugarSalelStyle.com for more fun fashion DIY, etc, etc. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Bye. ...of their life and their circumstances and things like that. And I, it also caused me to think that, like, even when you, like, lose something in life, like, not physically misplace it, but it's the season is up in your life, like, that's what 
develops. And the crazy thing about life is you'll probably have a lot of moments.